Let's take a look at this super simple Voider game part 5 in Flash CS6. So when I press Control enter uh, I basically try to collect healthy foods uh, for points and I avoid the fries uh, which uh, kills me. So you can see that when I collect nothing, these are healthy foods, I get zero points, zero points, but when I start eating apples uh, I get points, and if I miss the apple, I get no points. If I hit the fries, I will die, so I will try to avoid that. Uh, let me look to see if I can find a banana here. So we're randomly generating different types of foods. It's getting faster. I collect the banana, collect the banana, I miss the banana, get no points. Eventually I see fries. Oh, I died. Too bad. So this is the code that we'll be analyzing. You can uh, download the source at kim.com slash share slash um, avoid 5.fla I'll make that available now in this solution I introduce a little bit of object oriented programming the idea of creating instances of, of uh, classes as well as arrays so perhaps it's not as simple as it could be but nonetheless I think it's good practice so this might be too advanced uh, depending on where you are in your coding uh, however, um, previously we had a, a red square here that was uh, called Movie 2, but uh, I guess an easier version of the same tutorial would be to have an enemy here and maybe a, a healthy one and <clears throat> and maybe have a separate enemy here, you can call it Movie 3 for example, and then have some more enemies here and and simply uh, make them all fall, make them all move down and just randomize the uh, x position so the the y values would always fall down at the constant rate so you could do that do it that way in your code so you basically have to uh, look at your code so if I go to the timeline and click on the actions go to window actions and wherever you start talking about movie 2 uh, you'd have to uh, also keep, uh, do the exact same code for movie 3, movie 4 etc but to level up in our coding skills, I decided to do arrays here. So let's try to analyze what's different from the last tutorial. So what I have here that's different is uh, the idea that we're storing all the the different the three different types of food: apples, bananas, and fries into an array. Array is like you could think of it like a um, like a container. Like you can fill eggs into a container, so it's all in a row. Chichu trains, different train cars. And so foods is the entire array, whereas the items are separated by commas. We have a comma here, comma here, comma here. And the word new means we want to uh, create an apple object. So I have this class called apple, and I have a class called banana and fries. And the word new means actually create it. And notice how we don't actually have a variable assigned to this, but that's okay. On the fly, dynamically, we're creating a new Apple object, and it's being stored into this array. Interesting. Such that foods 0 is an Apple object, foods 1. So arrays start counting at index 0. Index 1 is the second thing, and in index 2 is the third item. So computers like to start counting at 0. Just remember that. Now, where did this Apple, banana, and fries come from? If you uh, press Control L or go to the window library, you will see that I I have this uh, I um, have a fries movie clip. So originally I, I drew some pictures uh, rapidly, as you can see in Photoshop. I went to Photoshop. I went to file new. I chose a transparent background so I can make sure everything is nice and transparent. Uh, I made sure that the file new Photoshop file was actually uh, 50 by 50 pixels exactly so it would snap into the correct place here either here 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 or here and once you have went to file import import to uh, stage or library we'll just do stage for now you get a picture here you can right click convert to symbol and we chose a movie clip with a top left registration point and you could call this fries but this name is not as as uh, well it is important the name here uh, we export for action script you can see it makes a class fries so this is how you create your own class you make it into a movie clip 
and by default your uh, movie clips are based off so our class fries is based off the movie clip here because we made it into a movie clip it's good to know it in inherits all the powers of movie clips whether you want to change its xy position whether you want to change its rotation or opacity like how see through it is and etc cancel so once you actually create this and export each of your fries apples bananas for the action script you can delete it you can see if you press control l it's actually in your libraries you have the fries you can right click uh, or even even right click the banana properties you can see that i exported for action script and i have i created my own classes which are children of the movie clip parent class so what does this mean what can we do let's go to the actions on frame one window actions and so we created an array. So this foods array contains three food objects, of which the foods2, index2, is the bad food. I hope you learned that apples are good for you, bananas are good for you, but fries are, although they're yummy, they need to be eaten in moderation. So I have a variable here called food index. So it's going to pick a random number between 0, 1, or 2. And what I have here is a for loop that's going to somehow initialize the the, the positions of these uh, items. So initially, foods it's going to initialize food zero, foods zero. So that's the apple. The apple is going to have a random x position either here, 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 or here. And then it's going to be a little bit above the the actual screen. So it's going to have a position of negative fifty. And then we're going to actually draw it slightly above the top of the screen here. So this is repeating for all three different foods. All right. So instead of hard coding in that one enemy, uh, the movie two, I replaced it with foods square bracket food index. So the food index is either zero, one, or two. So how you actually access array items is you type in the name of the array square bracket and the actual position, the index of which specific item you want. So as I highlight this entire part of the code, foods, square bracket, food index, this refers to the actual uh, specific object, food object. So here I'm changing the Y position, exact same as before, nothing different. I just replaced all the movie twos with this uh, particular food object. And let's find something new. So as for the collision code, I check to see if we hit the uh, food and and also, what what must also be true, if it happens to be the fries, which is index two, then we die. So essentially, we uh, go to the died screen. Uh, whereas if we else if otherwise, so if we did not hit the, the fries, we're going to hit some regular food. We simply increase the score. So before you always get a point for simply dodging things, but now we only get a score. I, I erased it from the previous time previous location, we only get a point when we actually uh, collect the good foods. So that's the difference in this game. Okay, hopefully you found this tutorial useful. Remember, baby steps, uh, in the beginning, it's impossible to understand things unless you have some foundations. So if you're still at the point where you're trying to understand Boolean logic, why don't you Google Boolean logic or find some YouTube tutorial about Boolean logic and um, baby steps at a time. Uh, arrays is another concept. and once you digest it, you'll be well on your way to solving world peace.